So I'm driving to the post office. I have some packages to ship. But let's go back earlier today. I sold these two sconces and the skull box. This is one of five I made for sale. You can check them out in my shop. I'll have a link in the description. I'll also leave a link to the video of me, or videos, because there's I think there's a couple of them, uh, of me power carving and making these. I also got an order for these shabby chic sconces, and a lot of work goes into making them. A lot of sanding, uh, painting, two layers, uh, white primer, and then that blue, uh, not to mention the scroll saw work. So it takes uh, a handful of hours to, to get these sconces uh, prepared. Uh, you can find these as well in my uh, shop. So I'll go ahead and wrap these up and prep them for shipping. I just finished making the sconces last night, by the way. Um, I filmed the making of them, all of it. So in the next video, I'll show you how I built them. I really enjoy making things. It's a lot of fun taking materials and creating value from wood. The idea that there's something where before there was just stock lumber thrills me to no end. I mean, I love creating. It also feels good to have these pieces bought off of my store. It feels incredible uh, to know that the things that you handmade uh, find a home from you know people that see a thing and and want it i'm telling you it's great i have a website it's called rockin woodworks i write articles and post all sorts of content there like the mad maker show interviews i also have a list of tools i use with pictures Harneal Media is the webmaster and they cater to the maker community. I think a, a website is a must-have on many levels. I have a store on my site as well. Uh, just a bunch of different things. I sell t-shirts with the Skull logo and even music packs. Um, my music pack has 51 tracks and it's for content creators like us. I wrote and recorded those tracks for folks that, you know, they, they need music, but are tired of the same old sounds that you find around and mainly the thing is that they're royalty free so you don't have to worry about copyright and all all that jazz at the end of this episode i'll have the tracks play so you can hear them so be sure to check that out the post office will ship you free boxes by the way that's what i'm using here i prepay the shipping labels when i get an order you know the, the order gets paid and whatnot Okay, it's time to head out to the post. When I get back, I'll be setting up the scroll saw to cut out a uh, Cobra logo. Remember the 80s cartoon and toys, um, G.I. Joe? I don't know why that popped into my head, but it's been on my mind for over a week now. I'm gonna make the logo and put it up on my shop to sell. In the next episode, I'm gonna be making the sconces I just showed you here. Uh, and by that time, I think I would have already made that G.I. Joe Cobra sign. So that video should be coming out after the sconces. So stick around, check out the music pack tracks, and I'll play some samples so you can hear how I write and record. For you guys coming over from my Etsy shop, here's a listen to the songs included in Music Pack Volume 1. I'll also link back to the music pack for you guys visiting here on YouTube. Here are the songs included.
the D string. 